Okay, and now that we're over here. And another pair of kicks. Um, this, the OG old school orange Nike box, as you can see. This is, we can get in focus, we constantly have this problem. Um, Nike MX1 Premium. I've actually gone down half a size because of, originally started doing this after the, um, after the Pata, um, the Waves Monarch drop because I find they fit so big so I've got actually gone down in a few well, pretty much all the MX ones I've bought since the casinas fit me really good both pairs my concepts fit me perfect I have to say I've tried these on and they were actually a tiny bit snug um like not to the point of discomfort but um noticeably versus any of those other pairs um so I'm going to try and go after the orange magma masters but I'm really not sure what sizing to go with on them now because of that. Um, but yeah, here the shoes are nice and focused. There they are. I think the lighting is capturing the colouring pretty well here. Maybe slightly darker brown in reality. Um, but yeah, here they are, the um, the crap hemp's. Um, originally a pair, um, so I'll pop up an image here so you guys can see a comparison. And I might even put another image straight afterwards that shows the OG versus the new ones in the same room. Um, so there's a lot of those floating around on the internet. Um, so yeah, um, it'll be interesting to see um, see any kind of differences you can see from that picture. Um, but yeah, enough with the old one. Let's bang on with the new pair. So you have um, typical one of the areas that I always look for in my MX ones is this perforated tongue. It just for me gives it a much more premium look. As you can see from the shape, these are straight out of the box. I have not reshaped anything. The shape is bang on. Um, you, if anyone who's seen my casino reshape video, um, probably one of the more successful videos I've done, uh, has quite a few you've seen where I, I um, ironed the toe box and showed some before and after. This clearly does not need it. Um, so yeah, just to run through the overall colorway, so you have brown down here, a darker brown here, lighter, and this is a, a hairy suede. Uh, a much uh, a short head, much more short head suede here. I think it's even a, a new buck, lighter brown, and then this kind of almost like a light jade slash emerald. Is there anything on the box? A oh, mint foam. So this mint foam color, which is on the swoosh inside the the bubble, and then on the tongue, and then the same thing on the inside, and then the Nike Air on the back. Um, and then the toe box, which is one of the more, one of the areas of the biggest difference versus the OGs, this like hemp type of material, um, which is like across the whole toe box. And then you have this, this piece in here, the youth rope, which is made from a, like a kind of like a canvas type material, which is a third brown actually. Um, the darker brown, the more chocolatey brown up here is continued up onto the eyelets. Um, and then you have like an all kind of cream slash light brown, same colour as the, the hemp on the inside with that mint foam Nike Air. Um, as I said, sizing, I found that they are, they fit more like older MX ones and less like any of the newer ones. I feel like maybe I'm the only one who feels like there's a sizing difference, but I certainly feel like they're less, um, they're slightly smaller. So a quick, quick a super quick review today. Not a huge amount to go through, um, but I did want to show the pista resistance. So the outsole is like the, I feel like the biggest differential part on this pan. And get right close up so you can see. So none of the, um, you know, typically when you see guys selling MX ones, they're like full nipple coverage. Is like the, the it's a weird term. Only a sneakhead will get it, but um, it's like the term people use, and it means that this the, the kind of pimples that you see on the outsole scattered around are still there and it's just a sign of not a huge amount of wear um so the mx1 version of full stars visible on a jordan um it does none of that it just has what here looks like a kind of uh crap um i guess like a i guess like a partly cooked crap i, I don't really don't know all i know is this looks pretty cool like the more i get it to an angle the more you can kind of see what it looks like so there it is really close up let's try and re there you go, adjust there, and there you can see it. Um, so yeah, again, shape on the other side, it's not just a fluke, pretty nice and sleek there, um, too. 
so yeah um i guess that's that's kind of it that's like covered off sizing um covered off shape um the materials all really good it's premium as i say it's not going to be like an a6 or a pair of diodoras or a new balance because it is a nike product but um for, for a nike product very premium that's it for me over and out